How's everybody doing? Uh, my name is Bill McGovern. I'm the uh, defense coordinator for UCLA. Uh, and obviously, I speak for all, all of us at UCLA how excited we are to be down here uh, playing a tough team like Pittsburgh. So we're excited to get after them. Uh, and I'm sure they're excited to get after us, too. So we're looking forward to a, a hard-fought game you know, on Friday. So it should be a lot of fun. Coach, can you go ahead and talk about the, uh, the arrival and how it's been starting off for you this week? I know we do things a little different here in El Paso. What's it been like to start the week? It's been great, obviously. The, the weather's great. Uh, we, had, we had a good pre we practiced at uh, UCLA yesterday morning, and then we flew down. We got here last night, and uh, it was uh, seemed like a lot of our people had a good time last night. They enjoyed, they enjoyed the, uh, the, the, the things going on last night very well. But... Um, and then today we had we just finished our practice our, our practice down here. I thought the kids had good energy, got after it, uh, chased it around. And it's one of those things as when, as you guys all know when you when you're doing bowl games, there, there's guys that are going to play, there are guys that aren't going to play. But you can't worry about those. You got to worry about the guys that are going to be on the field. And that's what we're excited about, and I'm sure Pittsburgh's excited about, is getting the guys out on the field ready to play. Um, and those guys are, right now are, are guys that had a good practice today, so that was a good start. Speaking of, uh, how do you prepare for a team kind of not, do you, do you kind of know, not know what you're going to get with Pitt in terms of all their opt-outs, and how do you kind of prepare for that? Well, I, I think you kind of look at, at their history and what they've done. Uh, Frank Signetti is their offensive coordinator. I worked with Frank at the Giants. We were, we were together there. But you, you, you basically go back, you look through the things, I don't think anybody is going to go and drastically change a lot of things, you know, in a, in a week or two. Um, you're trying to find out what your young guys are, are capable of. And that's really what you're looking at. Like, when, when people come to a bowl game and some people decide to opt out, it gives other people opportunity. And that's what we're looking for from our guys, and I'm sure that's what Pittsburgh is looking for from their guys, is they're going to get an opportunity to prove themselves on the field. Have uh, Dorian available for the game? It's a uh, it's a lot for UCLA. You know, to finish with the with the quarterback, starting quarterback uh, all the season. Well, uh, with DTR. Yeah. Yeah, you know, DTR obviously he's been great. Uh, he had a tremendous year. Um, we're, we're looking forward to him. You know, playing in the game. Uh, he's excited about it. He's been running around. He was he was throwing passes today. Yeah, uh, everything. But we're we're excited to have him out back out on the field again one more time. Coach, uh, first of all, I uh, welcome back. It's been a while since uh, I've seen you. Good to see you again. Thank you. Um, can you, it's no secret you've been away. Can you talk about what happened in the road to recovery coming back? <clears throat> uh, I, I had some health problems. I'm not going to talk about uh, any of my health problems. It was something we dealt with as a family, and it was, it's been good, but I'm not going to talk about any health problems. I'm thrilled to be back, and honestly, I, one of the things that gave me the most energy was being back around the kids and being back in the offices and working and trying to game plan and do all those things. Uh, I thought it was really uh, exciting just to be out with the guys running around, doing everything, and we're, you know, we're talking about different things, different ways, but um, I can't thank the people uh, that, that with all the support I got from it, but uh, it, was, uh, it was something that, uh, it's something that happens and we moved along. What, what was it like uh, watching games when you couldn't uh, be part of it? How hard was that? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> not good. Not good. When you coach for 37 years and uh, you all of a sudden you, you can't, you, you can't, you think you have a headset on at home, but you don't. You know, you just might be yelling at somebody in your house rather than somebody on the other end of the line. But it, it, it was, in, uh, it was, uh, everything's been good, and I, I'm, I'm very thankful for the support that I got. So do you expect to be back next season as well? Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Sir, so I always wanted to ask somebody with authority. Uh, I don't like it. What, what do you think about the transfer portal? It's it's. A I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into this. Is my this is my first year dealing with that. I I, I took the job with LA, with UCLA last spring, um, and it, it's all been the first time of me dealing with the transfer portal, dealing with recruiting, every oh, doing all that. And it's it's one of those things. I think whenever when this is all settles down and the dust settles, people have got to talk. People have got to kind of communicate and try to see, you know, where do we go from here? You know, I don't, I don't think anybody has the answers. There's a lot of gray lines right now that are out there. Um, and I think that's one of the things that we've just got to try to, as, as an organization, you know, as coaches, as the NCAA, 
you know, we're going to have to try to basically figure out some things and, you know, put some things in place that will kind of keep things uh, held together. What do you think of the job Clancy and the other assistants did while you were? I thought, they were, I thought they did a phenomenal job in the sense that the, kid, the biggest thing is the guys were playing hard in the fourth quarter. They, they, were, they were chasing the ball around. They were making some plays. But, I, again, I can't uh, say enough about the job. And I mentioned it as, as we talked early in the year. We said, you know, we said we had a bunch on defense. We had a bunch of guys who we have, have either been coordinators, will be coordinators, or are coordinators. And all those guys kind of came into play as, as the season pro, you know, progressed there. Is there a team you've played so far this season that you could say their style on offense kind of mirrors what you're going to see from Pitt? Um, uh, no, I think you got to kind of combine a couple of teams because they're, they're, Pitt does a really good job. They're well coached. Um, they're tough. They're physical. They, but they've also got skill that goes down the field well. So they're really, they're, they're a good team. They're a physical team in terms of running the ball, but they're also a team that's very talented throwing the ball. And uh, their, their wideouts can go get the ball up in the air. What are some other challenges that Pitt uh, does well that, that you guys got to improve? Well, I, th I think all along that line, like, they do a good job of mixing and matching. Like, they're going to run the football. Okay, so well, they, then you want to load up on the run. But really, then they, they can drop back and throw the ball. Uh, the mid, they can run the mid-range, like you know, routes at Anya. But they've got a couple of deep threats that can get you deep, and, and they've got good ball skills so they can go get it. So those guys are guys that you know create problems for you from time to time. You, you try to make them a little bit one-dimensional, but it's they they do a nice job. They're very well coached, and they'll play hard. Any other questions? Coach, this game, uh, when it was announced, it was billed as a, 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 a offense that's going to be a great offensive shootout. As a defensive coordinator, do you kind of take like, oh no, it's not. We're going to do something. To, to well, stop it, you know, what, what, do you, what are your thoughts when you hear, you know, uh, the game build, being billed as, you know, as that way? It's one of those things that you hear um, in all sports. They're trying to push offense in all sports. I mean. And a, and a NBA basketball game, you scored 91 points in the first half. You know, I mean, I, you know, same thing. On it's becoming they, it, people are more excited to see touchdowns than third down stops. You know, and it's one of those things. It's a challenge to our kids. You know, it's a challenge, I'm sure, to to the Pittsburgh kids that, that they're going to try to play hard too. You know, that everybody wants to play well on defense, and I think that's what makes it such a great team game. Because not only you know, okay, people got to score offensively, but we have to make stops on defense, and the special teams have to show up too. And that's really what, to me, makes a football really a, the ultimate team sport, because you're using 11, you know, you're, there's 22 on for offense, there's 22 on for defense, there's 22 on for special teams, you know, and they're all competing against one another. So I think that's what makes it pretty special when you get those opportunities. It's everybody, it, it's a win. I don't care if you win 45-42, or you win, or you win three-two. It's a win, and that's that's one of the most important things. Is the guys stick together, they, they keep playing, and that goes back to what you talked about with Clancy and, and Kenny and, and the rest of the, and Brian, all the guys. Those guys are playing hard in the fourth quarter, you know, and that matters. They play, they're playing for one another, and I think that's that's really important to notice and, and to see. Being away from the game make you realize how much you loved it. Even Absolutely. <laughs> Have a nine, 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 n